Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And so today we are doing a comparison video. We recently did a review on the, this is the Byberry Multi-Tools Plier 20 and one. And in the past we've done a review on the, this is the Byberry Multi-Tools Pro pliers um, for this. And this is a 31 and one. Now for this video, we're just gonna call it the Pro and the non-Pro, just makes it easier. but First, one thing I'm going to get out the way right away is that I actually like both of these tools really good. So even though there's a comparison video or a verse video, if you want to see it that way, in the grand scheme of things, you can't go wrong with either or because the truth is, is that they're both really good. Just the pro is a little more. You got you got a lot. You, you got a bit more extra with it. Because, you know, it says 31. A lot of these things, when they say how many tools is in them, sometimes you can take that with a grain of salt. But generally speaking, this has more options than this one does. But we're going to get into it because I really think that the non pro and I don't know if Bioberry makes. I'm sure they do. Um, make a, another clone of the wave because there's a lot of clones out there. And I don't know if I'll necessarily call these clones of Leatherman stuff here because I think that some aspects of them differ a decent amount that you know maybe it wouldn't be considered that though I believe this is generally speaking almost like a clone of the I want to say the surge. Um I don't think I would call this a clone of the um of the wave. Most of the time that's what's been going around lately. Clones of the wave and um in a previous video you've seen I did the review of the Felisa and that is definitely a clone of the wave, even though some of the tools on it are slightly different because obviously, whether it's patent reasons, whatever the reason is, that some of the tools might be slightly different, though they are the same in general, the same kind of thing. Like for example, that has a tiny flathead screwdriver, which is mimics the um, <clears throat> eyeglass screwdriver for the wave. But nonetheless, this has so many aspects about it that are different that I wouldn't necessarily call it a clone. It just has some aspects that might be a little bit similar. But as always, in this channel, we always get into, like we always say, just bettering yourself, things of that sort, the way to carry yourself, whatever. And I think everyone should always have a multi-tool. I've said this in the past. Um, just something around the house is a really good convenient to have. Um, it's just something you should have in your arsenal. Maybe even carry it in your car. I like carrying one inside my car um, or one inside my duffel bag if I'm carrying that around with me. Um, and as well, obviously, keep one at home. And what you'll find that's very surprising is more time than not, you'll reach for a multi-tool than you will for almost anything else. Because once you get used to it and you keep it in a very convenient space, it has all the tools you need on it. So with that being said, we're going to jump into this comparison. Um, yeah, we're just going to jump right into it. So first, let's get the tools out. <clears throat> this is the Pro. It comes with a pretty decent size um, driver kit. Though all of these, other than, I mean, there's nothing wrong with having a, a hex bit, because I can see that one coming in, in handy. You have two of them, actually, two hex bit ones. But the flathead ones are obviously universal, flathead screwdrivers and uh, screw, Phillips screwdrivers. So this has a total of two of the flatheads. And then on the tool itself, you have a... um a double-sided Phillips, where most of the tools on these will have one side flathead, one side Phillips. That's a positive and a negative because sometimes it's nice just to be able to have that one bit that you could just flip over and you've got the flathead, then you have the um, Phillips. In this case, you got to pull out the whole different bit. Where this one actually has a way around that is that if you have the Phillips one in there, you also have um, like just a regular flathead in one of the tool sets and we'll get into that in a moment <clears throat> now give me a second uh, i'm just going to bring in something the ladies on because my table is actually very hard and i don't want to get the metal scratched up even though these tools are about beating them up at some point in time we're just not going to beat them up right now i do use them though i actually do put work to this one a lot because that was mine and this was actually a gift for a close friend so um, it's, I'm not going to end up keeping this one, even though it's really nice. We're going to get into that one in a moment as we go through the differences. Now, this one has its little bit driver set up as well. It's smaller, but nonetheless, um, let's see. 
So you have the double sided flathead, you have this Phillips, smaller Phillips, and then you have a flathead here. Now, this tool, similar to most of the other um, tools like the Fleeso or whatever, will have both the bit for the um, screwdriver is going to be both Phillips and flathead on both, like I was mentioning how this one is not. So that in itself throws in that element of a little bit more easier to kind of just take it, flip it upside down, whatever the case is. So that's that's not an issue. Um, so, sorry, just uh, taking a moment about thinking about something real quick. So anyway, now as far as the layout goes, this one doesn't have a um, doesn't have a pocket clip, and this one does, so that might be a big deal. I like the aesthetics of this because it has that look of you know. Well, I'm just going to call it like its decorative look. I'm, I'm not going to necessarily reference it to what it's from. The kind of copy is similar to a Leatherman, but we're just going to call it decorative. Um, and getting into the pliers for the most part they're the same as far as the pliers go in terms of what you're getting um this one obviously is bigger but in terms of that you're getting we're really just going to get into like the main aspects where they really start to differ now um hmm let me see okay i actually lent this one out and I think that <laughs> I am missing the bit driver or lent it out to a family member. So um, so I don't have that in there to show in my past videos. I have it on there where it's a double sided Phillips driver. So I'm going to have to get that back from that family member. But uh, in general, <clears throat> that is a difference between that. And like I said before, the way that that would be circumvented is you could use the flatheads on here. Now, obviously, you also have additional flat heads in here. You have no additional Phillips. That one Phillips is your Phillips for this one. So that in itself is a thing where if you don't have that, that becomes a little bit of an issue. Um, here on this one, you have, like I mentioned before, and this one actually comes out a little harder to come out. This is more like the conventional ones where this one has just this light spring action. It's very loose. And then when it locks, it locks. So it doesn't matter that it's loose and it's easy to pull out because once it locks, it locks. So I kind of like that better. This one has a strong retention in its process to come out along with being locked in. And then this one has your conventional double sided, which is, like I said, a little more universal. Now, the difference between this and say something that's similar to a Leatherman wave in design is that, like I mentioned in the review video of this one, that on the outer tools, you get that scissor and it's a nice big scissor. What's cool because Leatherman's, anything that's like a Leatherman or, Le I mean, I'm sorry, anything that's like a Wave or Wave clone won't have that because that's not normally its design. But this one takes a cue from the Pro here, the, the, the non-Pro takes a cue from the Pro in that they give you a large pair of scissors on the side. It's not as big, but it's very comparable. And um, you get that on the outside. And like I always say, I think that that's a big pro for the domesticated tool user because, you know, um, <clears throat> that's usually like a common tool you might use at home, whether you're doing arts and crafts with your kids or something of that sort or, you know, whatever the case is. So at home, I feel it's nice having a larger scissor because it's more of a domesticated tool in my mind. You're not really, you know, using it for like cutting paracord or things of that sort. I mean, you can, but nonetheless, it's the average person would probably use it more so for cutting things at home. Obviously, you've got your standard knife that they're going to have the same. Um, and I've gone through all these things in the past video for the full review on these. So I would say check back at those. If you want to just go through a piece by piece, this is more of a comparison of the things that might be different or stand out about the two. Um, not so much about going through each piece one by one. Um, so here, though, you have the file. And this one has the saw, but this is a non-removable saw. And this comes with saw bits that you can take out because this uh, file right here is, you can remove it and replace it. So that is the difference there. 
If you're the kind of person who doesn't really use a file, you use a saw, this is fine. If you're the kind of person who really uses a saw, uh, I'm sorry, uses a file, then this is obviously going to be the better one for you. This one has a file in it. It's very small and it really doesn't, if a file is your thing, this is not going to satisfy you in my opinion. It's okay. But if the file is not your thing, then you're fine. As far as the other side here, you've got let's see, your serrated knife. This one has it also, but this one has that little hook piece. Now, I don't know if that's for like things like cutting a seatbelt, but you have that option, which is nice if you need it. I don't know if that's something that would ever get in the way. Now, coming into the tool here, <clears throat> um, you have the tiny screwdriver bit, and it's actually reversible. So if you flip it the other way, you can get the flat head, and this is the Phillips. That's very similar to the Leatherman. So it's funny because the other clones of the Wave have just a flat head screw it's it's not um, cha interchangeable. It's just a, a base flathead screwdriver, like something like that, but it's very tiny. This one actually is more comparable to a Wave in that aspect, even though for the most part, I wouldn't consider this necessarily a Wave clone completely because of some of the tool set is actually a little bit different where you have like the scissors, the bigger scissors, you don't have smaller scissors on here. Um, you have the awl, you have the flathead, you have the can opener. So it's different. And on these tools, you have one side of this will have the main tool set. And the other side is just the screwdriver because that screwdriver takes up a lot more space. Here you have the awl, but you have the screwdriver bits. And I would almost feel like, not bits, but, you know, um, pieces here for the screwdriver. Am I missing a tool in here? There we go. I'm sorry. I overlooked the um, can opener. So... You have this and um, the can opener and the two uh, screwdrivers. Now, the thing about these, though, is that um, they are these. I'm sorry, I had a little brain fart because uh, I was getting a text message. These right here, they seem a little redundant. They do. But at the same time, like I mentioned before, because this one has the screwdriver bit that would be double-sided Phillips, that comes in handy in that regard only because of that. Um, whereas if it had one of those bits that had a flip Phillips and flathead, that would be redundant. Where this one, it has one of these flatheads and that's cool. But nonetheless, this one does have the reversible with the Phillips and flathead. So you don't really need to use that. You'll probably go to this regardless, even though maybe if you need a bigger one, you use that. So that's really the differences between the two. I'm not going to try to expand the video too much. You do get a do you get a lot more with the pro? It depends on the eye of the beholder. The really what you're really getting from the pro is the larger bit drive set. Even though this one does come with a bit driver set. Let's take a look quick quick closer look a little bit. You do get some of the same things, like you get the um these right here i'm not sure what those are used for but i know the specialized tools which those things are used for those things actually can be used for changing these things here the um the screws that hold them in but um you're not getting this which is like the hex bit ones which i think in general could probably consider more valuable than these or that but nonetheless you do have a decent set for the flathead and phillips here um, to hold you over. Obviously, this is going to be better that you have more stuff. But you have that. You have the interchangeable saw blade with the uh, file and whatnot. And it comes also with replaceable bits for the uh, wire cutters. Replaceable where this one, you'd have to just buy the extra ones if these ones were to get damaged. Um, and that's really the difference. So in price-wise, and I'm going to put a link in the description, they they this goes for about $29.99. This one goes for about like $37.99. So maybe about $8 difference, somewhere around there, $9, um, $7, $8 difference, $8 difference. But the thing about it is I don't feel this is necessarily much more that you're getting than this. 
But at the same time, the price difference is not that big of a deal. It's not like where with Leatherman and you're paying like already over a hundred dollars and you buy another one for an additional twenty dollars. Like if this was like a hundred dollars and this was 120, then you might be like, Well, I'm already spending a hundred dollars. That twenty dollars makes a big deal. But when you're only spending thirty dollars versus like thirty-seven dollars or thirty-eight dollars, that seven dollars extra, eight dollars extra is not really that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things. So it's just a matter of do you feel that what you're getting extra is worth it? Um, I would say that it's not necessarily a big deal. I find that these tools are not hard for me to pull out. And as I always say in my videos, I got short nails, so it's not always easy to pull out um, with some of my tools. But these, I don't have a problem with this one. It's easy, even easier for me to pull this one out than it is for me to pull out the Felisa one, which actually sometimes I have some trouble with. And it's not a knock on the tool. It's just the fact that I have no nails. This one, I've mentioned before in previous videos, the aesthetics of it, I have no trouble pulling these out. They're so very, you know, like easier to grip. They come out super smooth. There's no tension in them. You see how they're very loose? There's no tension at all until the, you put them in the lock position, which I kind of like that for the ease of use of getting things out. Um, the same applies for this side. In addition to that too, um, so you have that, the feel of that, those things. So those add to, you know, if you'll like this one better than that one. So all in all, I can't answer that question for you guys. I actually like them both, like I said in the beginning of the video. Um, this one definitely feels different, um, and that just might be enough for you in addition to all the, the things that it comes with extra. But if not, this one is really good. I actually, just on my just initial time of playing with it, and we're just going to assume, even though I haven't really had a time to really use it that well in terms of any kind of projects or putting it to use, Let's just assume this one's quality is on the same par as this one because so far they feel that way and they're made from the same company. So let's just assume that because I have used this one a bit. With the same quality level, I actually prefer this better than the Felisa. Not that the Felisa is bad quality, but once again, I have trouble sometimes getting these tools out on the Felisa. I also don't like that on the Felisa, I don't have large scissors on the outside, which this one I do. So for that reason, I really like this if you're trying to be the small version of the bigger tool. I think this is a great option because it keeps the same tool set. Like you've got the same, you know, uh, screwdriver setup. You got the same um, scissors. Not everything's the same, but the big scissors. So the main things I like, this one retains. And to me, that's pretty cool. So with that being said, you guys, um, as always, like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.